Right guys, you cabin here. Today's the 19th, 58, 2017. The time here now is 16.20 p.m. UK GMT. Um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial today. I'm also just going to uh, throw in a few, a few thank yous today to two or three people that have been helping me over the last five or six weeks on my YouTube channel in relation to a, a problem that I've been having for the last six or several weeks or even longer with my Steam account. Now, I'm just going to pull up my YouTube account here and go to the videos tab you can see here i uploaded a video on first of july i need help with this steam problem and then two and a half three weeks later on the 21st of july i uploaded another video called steam problem 2017 please wait verifying login information now if you actually watch uh if you've actually watched both of these videos this is the first video uh, the one that's called I need help with this steam problem and this is the second video that's the latest and more recent one uh, steam problem 2007 and please wait verifying login information I just want to scroll down here and show you that people have been helping me and I really appreciate it. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to three people in general first one being uh, Fawood Hadid I hope I pronounce your name correctly Fawood Hadid uh, I Thank you very much for your messages. Um, you have helped resolve my issue for the time being after I followed your three-step process. If anybody else is stuck on YouTube with the same problem that I've been having, having in, in these two videos, in this video and then in this video on my YouTube channel, uh, please follow the steps from Fawood. Uh, had it and you'll be up and running in no time at all. I am going to quickly show you at the end of this video how I how I did what Fawu suggested and if it can be useful to anybody else then by all means it will uh, help resolve your issue hopefully like it did for me. Uh, it seems to have been working, my Steam account anyway seems to have been working fine over the last 24, 36 hours but I'm still monitoring it and seeing if there's any changes. I'd also like to take an opportunity as well to say thank you to uh, Perkholico1. Uh, I don't know whether this is a male or female. I think she might be female because she's got a, like a, there's a female banner on her on her channel. And I also want to thank Y Unbox, uh, who has also been helping me online and on YouTube um, since this problem started. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to quickly minimise. Um, Google Chrome and my YouTube account for the time being and what I'm going to ask you to do next very quickly is I don't know whether you're on Windows 7 but it works on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 10 Pro um, it's entirely up to you um, but what you need to do next is if you're on Windows 10 like hopefully a lot of people are Windows 8 you need to use either Cortana or you need to go to your um, search in Windows and you need to look up um, you need to look up for your app data folder but before you can do this you actually need to enable um, hidden files and folders on your PC because by default some folders are hidden on people's PCs and you actually need to be able to see the hidden files and folders so to do this you just need to quickly go to your control panel I still prefer to use the old control panel on Windows 10 even though uh, Windows 10 has got the settings control panel which I'm not I don't really like. I still prefer the old school control panel. Once you're in control panel, go to go to the option folder options or the icon folder options and select view. Now by default, it will be like this. Um, do not show hidden files and folders. Check show hidden files and folders. Click apply and then click OK. I don't need to do it right now. I'm just going to click cancel because I already have uh, show hidden files and folders enabled. Once that's been done, um, go to uh, your Katana or your Windows search normally found in the start menu or on your taskbar and type this exactly how you see it in, in Katana or in your search it's a percent sign capital A app data with a capital D and then a percent sign and then hit the enter button you might be presented with a folder or a folder might open called roaming if that's the case um, which is um, going to look something similar like this if you're presented with um, the roaming folder you just need to click on highlight the folder called app data which should be in the column to the left hand side of where I'm hovering at the moment 
I'm not going to go over to the left hand side for privacy reasons because I've got stuff installed there that are pri is private to me and I don't want people on YouTube seeing it. But you can actually, um, what basically where you need to be, you, the, at the top of the screen here again for privacy reasons, I won't show it, but you'll see the app data. Just before app data, it'll have your user profile name, that's your PC profile name before it. So if you call Frank on your PC, it should say Frank and then app data. Okay, so once you're in app data, you should see these three three folders and this, possibly this this file on its own, this default file. What you need to do very quickly to resolve any issues with Steam or Steam saying to your um, please wait whilst verifying login information to get rid of these problems that Fowl had it uh, suggested on my YouTube uh, video. It has been very helpful, so thank you again. Just go to into the local folder and then scroll down it might pan away for privacy reasons and then what you need to look for is two folders now before you go any further you need to sign out of your steam account and close steam down on your pc before you do this or else it will not delete any cache files or folders that are stored in the steam file sorry that's, that are stored in the steam folder or the temp folder in app data once you've signed out of steam and you have closed and exited steam down fully so it's not running in your processes or your task manager you need to just highlight both of these folders which you can see i'm doing so i'm going to beg your pardon you need to highlight the steam folder and you need to highlight the temp folder right click and delete so just right click as you can see there oh shall i'll do it here sorry right click and select delete and then delete that then what you need to do is you just need to go back up so go back up one select the up, up option to go back to app data and then you need to go into local low if you've got anything in there called steam any folder in there called steam or temp do exactly the same highlight them and delete them and then just go back again very simple and then go into the roaming folder again it might pan away for privacy reasons but if you've got anything in there whatsoever that says steam uh, that has a steam folder or a temp folder again highlight it i'm not highlighting the steam one here and then just sorry highlight it right click and then select delete but at the moment i don't have anything in relation to steam inside the roaming folder once you've done that uh, just close app data down by clicking the x at the top and then simply restart your PC and then log back into Steam and hopefully your problem should be resolved. I'm just gonna quickly pull up uh, my Steam profile here. Uh, again, it might pan away for privacy reasons. As you can see, I'm on the Steam um, store page at the moment. So if I was to say, for example, now go to, um, I've been logged in, please bear in mind as well that I've been logged into Steam now for the, I think since I last done a reboot about two or three days. Uh, but yeah, if I go to say for like friends now, hopefully, again for privacy reasons, everything should be okay. You can see that it doesn't say this profile is private anymore. Let me go to, uh, let me go to, um, uh, I've got to be careful here that I don't show anything uh, private to me. Let me go to profile, I can pan away if I need to. So as you can see, my profile's loading. I can go to activity as well. Let me go to activity. As you can see, the activity page is working absolutely fine now. So that's how to resolve uh, the problems with Steam if you get in the um, verifying login information prob uh, problem that I've been having over the last six, several weeks. Massive thank you again to Fawood Hadid, uh, Percolico One, and Wyonbox again. Much appreciated, much love. Thank you all. I hope this video helped. Uh, take care, much love. See you later. Bye-bye, I'm out of here. Enjoy. See you later.